Hello everyone, uh, this is Andrew and uh, I'm doing the introduction for this uh, segment and with me is uh, DB0 who has a bit of noise in the background, it'll be over in a couple of minutes. And um, we're watching the game between uh, Job Job and uh, Yulan Natsa, or I think he was uh, King LZ on uh, the board game geek forums. Oh, and now, now, okay, now it got interesting. We have a matchup between Anarchs, Noise, and NBN. Really looking forward towards this. Uh, the first game ended in a uh, double Scorched Earth victory for uh, Yolan Natsar. And uh, Job Job managed to get two points. It, it was a good game, but um, yeah, Job Job got a bit hasty, and uh, unfortunately he had to pay for it by uh, losing his home life in uh, his crepasse. It happens, uh, but uh, we're hoping to see a good game. At least we're not seeing, seeing Whale and Criminal this time, so. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see if we can get to see the starting hands. Well, let's just tell them to show us the hands. Okay, and here we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hard start. The, the money is there. There's like... There's the immediate boost, which are the two short gambles. There's a the compromise employee, which is going to really help in the long term. And there's the data sucker, which is always good. There's the there's two viruses. There's data suckers and Crypsis. Problem is, uh, Crypsis is really good in the beginning, but uh, it's really costly. He does have money for it to begin with, but uh, we'll see if it will end up paying up. I don't... I'm not a big fan of Crypsis. I've seen people on the internet talk about it. Uh, I tried running it a couple of times. It, it just doesn't work for me. I, I like more cost-efficient icebreakers, even if I have to look for more of them. And uh, NBN has a pretty good starting hand. Yeah. Breaking news. It's it, it's good. It's not a problem you have breaking news in your starting hand. Especially when you have an archer in your starting hand. And uh, I don't know how many people play archers in NBN decks, but I know I do, and they're totally worth it. Because you can sacrifice that one-point agenda that no longer does anything, and you get a cheap ice that is very strong. So, um, I like the deck Job Job is playing. It's I've, Until now, it's quite similar to mine. So, here's hoping. Yeah, short gambles are gonna start showing up. Compromise employee, sure, why not? Yeah, well, let's see. Thing is, right now, if he manages to, um, if Yolan um, manages to pull off a corroder, that would be awesome. It, it would just work wonders. So I'm thinking he might think about drawing. Some extra cards, which might pay off. Yeah, yeah, he's he's gonna go for the corroder. That crypts is just won't do. And the thing is, NBN NBN is always somehow struggling with money. So if that pad campaign is uh, left alone, uh, that's uh, really going to pay off in the long term. Yeah, and a melange now can't defend it though. Yeah. So, yeah, and once he sees that ice wall, uh, he's gonna start looking for that corroder, probably. The solution to all of his problems. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah not the order he wanted them in. Thinking. He might consider trashing that data sucker. Maybe. And then there's a void. I'm not sure. He might be running a... Um, uh, yeah, I think he's running a, a milling deck. So I think he's gonna trash a lot of stuff and then... Damage archives as much as he can.
Okay, that toll booth. Okay, yeah, that toll booth is really unpleasant when it gets a parasite on it. As an NBN player, I hate that when my toll booths, my most important pieces of ice, get icebreakers on them. Not fun. And oh boy, that was just worse. Adding insult to injury. Uh, the archer's still there, which is good. Uh, yeah, he you, he would have wanted the tow booth and the archer on that one. I do think he made a mistake by dropping that uh, tow booth that early on. He could just keep it in his hand. There was no rush. Okay, two archers. Now he really needs one agenda score. Um, uh, um, uh, I think he should probably start considering just scoring it out of hand so that he can drop the archers for the melange later on. Again, however, archers with parasites on them are not fun. Yeah, a lot of compromised employees. Uh, yeah, they're either gonna pay off or get trashed. Yeah. So no loss there. Let's see, uh, Beanstalk Royalties, that's good. I would score the breaking news out of hand right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. At the moment, uh, however he scores the uh, breaking news out of hand, he's going to give away that he's probably holding archers. Uh, it's tricky. Let's see, he doesn't see me... Ah, that's a good play, I love that. I love uh, that you, he covers, uh, he puts an archer there. And he can totally uh, annihilate a uh, runner when he goes tries to go through. There is an uh, there is an agenda there. There's a restructured data pool. That's why the data server crushed. Yeah. I just uh, I didn't check. Now I just checked, and it's uh, yeah. Just for the record, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many people play NBN. Restructured data pool, great agenda. Yeah. Absolutely awesome for NBN. I think he's going to play next turn the um, uh, breaking news. I honestly think he has to, because I mean seriously, he has to start worrying about this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why he didn't install the corroder. Sorry, the grimoire. He uh, has the grimoire. Doesn't Finish. make a difference for him, I guess. Uh... Yeah, he's gonna keep trying. He's just doing the milling right yeah. now, so. So. Okay, he's going to score back. I would have played that data raven probably because uh, I don't want to lose my melons either. Uh, that um, that uh, those viruses just brought a master script into archives. So yes, job job is not doing well. Okay. Okay. Because because those master scripts when those get trashed, oh boy. Yeah yeah. And Indian has like if you take like the total the all the agenda they have they have really good agenda. What uh, what should all of them? What he should really need now is uh, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, fuck, I forget the name. Uh, Describe it. We'll play. We'll play Netrunner charades. <laughs> red herring. He wants a red herrings in archives. Yep. The problem is you put a red herrings in an archives. It just tells him there's agenda there. He's going to run anyway. You're not uh, avoiding it. Oh yeah. Ah. Not what he wanted. Yeah, you're not avoiding uh, the uh, the red herrings in archives. Let's be serious. Uh, sorry, you're not avoiding yeah. the uh, steam hack into archives. Uh, imps, uh, uh, imps are legal for this tournament, yeah. Yes, think we, we should see some. Maybe, maybe. If you're gonna run a milling deck, go for some games. Yeah. Wow. And the Grimoire's finally there. I'm surprised he didn't play credit to be able to play the uh, uh, Sur Gamble first. Uh, he's gonna trash stuff with. Um, he has an extra credit. Anyway. Yeah, no, he, he's just gonna keep on trashing stuff. He should put that somewhere in like archives, maybe. No, okay. Uh, 
Unfortunately, yeah, it's not too bad. The only problem is he's going to check that yeah. uh, Raven and break out and not run again ever. He just wants to waste his money. Yeah. yeah. Well, the good thing is the corp does have a decent amount of money right now, yeah. especially for NBN. Yeah. But I think that that Raven might really have been better on the R and D. I don't know. Uh, possible. The thing is, right now, um, he can't protect both the remote server and archives. I don't think he needs to protect the remote server. I think the way uh, Erlen is playing, he's just going for the milling. And I think he We're should. We're just gonna see. He should really ignore HQ. Yeah, he just any agenda that he plays, put it straight into the remote, and ignore HQ. And yeah. if if the runner keeps running, wasting an action to run your HQ every turn, you know, forget it. Don't care. Uh, no, he's not gonna run HQ. He, he's gonna get. He's gonna deja vu. He's gonna get some at least one data sucker, yeah. maybe a parasite, and then just keep going through. This looks like what I'm looking at right now. Looks exactly like a virus uh, milling yeah, deck. Yeah, so it's, it's absolutely, like, definitely a virus milling deck. I, I hate them just for the record. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I did play a lot of Anarch, so it's not like I don't like Anarchs, but it's. Uh, How many points did uh, Job Job have two? Okay. Uh, uh, Job Job, yeah, had two last time, and uh, yeah, he needs to score this, and I think he will score score this Astro Strip, which is very important. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, Oil Nutz does have uh, that Cripsis. He could play it and Steam Hack in if he really wants to. Yes. And even an if he does it. Him. If he does it, he draws, at least. And I think he, I honestly will consider doing it, because nope. uh, he's not gonna, but yeah, I think it was a good idea, because he has two of them, and he's looking for the mill anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. He's going to go for the uh, Parasite on the uh, R&D, I'm guessing. No, he's not playing. Yeah, we'll have a look, see. He's going to play the Parasite immediately and run. Score that agenda. But I'm fairly certain he's going to go parasite into R D. And I start feeling that uh, data sucker. Uh possible, possible. Ah, I don't know. The the thing is um now he, he can at least play both scorchers and he has another toll booth, which might help. Okay, no, he's in not the long run. he's not even bothering, he's just going to mill 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 until he uh, uh, finishes. Yeah, the thing is, uh, he may put the total booth on the archives. Yeah, he should, really. Yeah. I mean, but that, that, that's, uh, I, it, it, I think it's so clear that he does not care at all about, uh, yeah. about the remotes. He just doesn't. Yeah, Imp, here you go. Okay, now, Iran in archives wins the game. So, now is the time for him to uh, protect... There's archives. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. But this is like really crap because not only are they all in archives and you can just get them out, so that's not bad enough. The problem is it, it stops Job Job from getting them and scoring them. Yep. So but it's not just the fact that he steals them away from you, you can't play them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But he still needs to protect them because the moment the runner decides to run on archives, you lost. That art is just not good. Yeah, no, I think uh, I'm, not, I'm expecting a toll booth down there. I mean, he has to. Oh. No, no, he's trying to uh, to make him think it's not worth running yet. But yeah, and he might do it because sometimes that is a problem of the milling decks. Sometimes they wait a bit too much. Yeah. Because you figure out, yeah, uh, six cards is not going to be enough. So he's going to, he's still not running, so I think, oh, this is going to be difficult. And he keeps trashing, so he keeps trashing ice <laughs> and agenda. Mm. Oh boy. Question is, will he run before Job Job wins? I think he may even run next turn. I had a game in which I was fighting the milling deck, and at one point I didn't have the agenda points left in the game to win. Hmm. So I couldn't win the game. 
You it was know, impossible for me. What, I had no uh, archive memories. Oh. I had no archive memories. I had no traps. I didn't bring Scorched Earth or others. Yeah, I didn't Scorched Earth pretty much. Or June Bugs. Mm -hmm. I think I had snares, but I think they were out by then. So it was like, I couldn't win the game. He moved through more agenda than I had left. <laughs> That's what what Eran wants. He wants that parasite back. Ah, oh, it's not going good. Did he play that melange? Huh? Hold on a second. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he did. Well, there's no point in not playing it. Uh, at Sansan, I thought it was an agenda. No, 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 no. It's a Sansan and a and uh, um, okay. uh, melange. It's really good because he can score the restructured data pools really fast. Only problem is the restructured data pools are in his archives. Yeah. Problem is he has only one ice. The runner knows he can calculate the maximum cost it will take to break almost every ice now. And the most expensive is obviously Archer. And he knows he can break it with a steam hack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the problem is uh, how greedy will he get? When does he do the actual run? Let's see. That tool booth is going to set him back a bit. No, you actually did not set him back at no, all. No, 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 yeah, because he has the employees. Oh, man. <laughs> Those employees so good at the start. They basically fun. NBN has a bit too many compromised employees. I think they should do more personal check. If yeah. it's like you have three compromised employees, yeah. Oh, it's not going. So I have somebody as human resources. It's not going at all good for the NBN, I think. No, no. It, it's like, I, I, I don't know. The, it's really hard to play against a, a noise milling deck, for that, one thing. That's why I do believe it, and, was, a, it was a mistake to cover R&D. HQ. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, thing, the other thing is, he did lose. Like, apart from it being hard to play against him, he also had uh, bad luck with what he trashed. Mm. Yeah. All those agenda there... Because he could have, if if he those astro scripts didn't get trashed, if that astro script didn't get trashed, he could uh, he could just um, uh, he could just like score them uh, one off the other. Yeah, really. What would really save his butt at the moment is really uh, red herrings. Yeah, but the steam hack is still enough. No, not if he has to break Arthur. No. Well, it costs some... A steam hack to break Arthur. Nine. It costs... Nine to break Archer. Yeah, yeah. But I, well, actually, no. It costs him seven to break Archer because he can just break the end the run and okay. he can let the trash programs run. Yeah, okay, fair enough. He breaks the end the run and he lets the trash programs, whatever. Uh, that means he needs 15 credits extra to win the game. And then he won't be able to run again in the archives without another Eclipses. Oh, that, that is true because it's per agenda. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that melange doesn't help that much this time at the moment. Because uh, the runner does want more time to just run. I think yeah, he's going no, to run he, as soon as he hits 10 cards in, in, in uh, archives or something. Which is close now. Mm -hmm. And he's going to check that archer. Oh boy! No, it, this is getting impossible for him. Remember what I told you? N right now he has... 12 agenda points in his archives. Soon enough, he won't be able to win the game. <laughs> True. It happened to me, Monsieur. It, it's horrendous. I hate virus milling decks. Yeah. They're, they're, they're ugly. Yeah, it's uh, it's really bad. If, uh, if the draw is against you, it's really bad. And... Uh, but the same is true for our endurance in some ways, in some sense. Every time the luck can be against, can be with you. Yeah, that's very true. He could have been like, trusting his psychographics, for example, where he doesn't need them. Yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely. But, uh, but uh, he's yeah. been, the luck has been with the runner. Yeah? He's, the, all the corporation has been drawing psychographics. 
Yeah, yeah, it's like they know exactly what the public wants. The only problem is they don't know how to. The problem is bring that. against against a deck like this. My NBN deck, I have NBN deck that really slaughters this kind of deck. Basically, because they don't run my remotes, I go like breaking news, uh, and then I basically trust their uh, stuff. I go breaking news and then freelancer. So the, the main yeah, money making close accounts and stuff like that. And their main money making is Aesops. So if you trust Aesops, they're really in a bad the situation. Or Aesops and Wildside. Yeah, this one won't animal. He's gonna drop the Crypsis and. Yeah, same hack. Maybe not this turn though. Let's see. Uh, why wait? Um, what, why uh, expose? Because he wants to make sure that he can break and he can win the game with one run. Oh, he can. But he doesn't know that. He does now. He just exposed it. He knows he can get through. He doesn't know he has uh, enough agendas to win the game. Oh, yeah, that is true. Okay, so he's looking for he another just, amp. He's just going to play a few more viruses and then win the game. And then uh, now uh, data rev is going to be trust, so he's going to force uh, the uh, corporation to either clear viruses or have an imp in his uh, face. Yeah, uh, I don't think he cares about the imp anymore. Yeah, he obviously he doesn't. But uh, oh, at Zeta, maybe he has the time to score it now. He can actually score it this turn, next turn. No, he can score it this turn. No, he, he can score it this turn. Yeah, yeah he should probably. Yeah. But the problem is, he needs to win the game. He can't just uh, uh, by scoring it is not enough. And as soon as they run, and no, see, he can't do anything. Yeah. As yeah. The problem is he can't actually do anything yeah. anyway. As soon as he decides to run or archives, it's over. The problem is as soon as the runner sees him close to victory, he's going to run. That's what he's waiting. He's waiting until the corporation scores enough points that victory is close enough, and then he can run. Yeah. The problem is as soon as that dead raven's gone, uh, we're going to see imps into hand. So. Yeah. That's why it was. It would be really at the moment if he if he had the breaking news. It would actually change the game. It would be like breaking news, score breaking news, uh, trust your Aesops, account siphon, uh, closed accounts. Yeah, if that Aesops would have been gone a long time ago, yeah, there would have been a completely different Yeah, game. but even, even if he does it now, it really stops the runner cold. He won't have any money to get through. True, true. Yeah, I think he's going in for the kill. Yeah. Yeah. Basically telling him, okay, raise your archer, now that I don't have anything and I do not care. Ah, oh, such an evil man. Yeah. But uh, I think yeah. there was no point, he should have just run anyway. Come again? I think he should have run normally. Maybe he just wants to make sure he won't win the game, I don't know. I have no idea. Why is he not getting... I mean, he's gonna install the Crypsis and he's gonna run now. I mean... No, no. He's still no. going to trust no, no, a bit he's, more. No, he's gonna do it. He's installing... Uh, no, no, HQ? No, no, he's just going to uh, trust a few more. Basically, he wanted to do that to make sure the corporation cannot win. An Ichi. I don't play Ichis in my... Uh, I think I did once in my NBN deck, but I don't have that many of them. Mm. Ichi. So Job Job is going to score that agenda. It, it's really important when, when what he draws. That agenda is not critical. What he draws now is... Uh, an itchy. Uh, I wonder if he'll... No, he's just going to score. Is it time for the archives run? That is the question. I usually run when there's like six or seven cards, but uh, I don't run, I don't run a milling deck, so for them it's different. But I'm guessing, yeah. 
He's going for HQ again to try some more stuff. Mm -hmm. If he gets that HQ, it's going to be bro. The thing is, as long as, as, long as the runner doesn't see uh, three point at Zeta hitting the table, which uh, he cannot score out of hand, uh, he's okay. As soon as a card hits the table that might be an agenda, then he can do it. I don't know why he's running so much in HQ. I would run only once a turn, probably. And yeah, he's making sure there's nothing there. I, uh, I don't know otherwise. <laughs> Too many psychographics. Got to FAO the other rutter. I think he will. Yeah, he wants the runner, the corporation to be poor, so he's probably going to do it. Oh, he can't. He has thick. Oh, okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. It is time okay. for the last, for the end. And there's nothing the yeah. corporation. Yeah, he needs to draw cards now. Oh, uh, uh, what? Uh, can, no, that's what can, I was thinking. Draw cards was not. No, it's it's over. What what can he do with drawing cards? No, no. Yeah, I was wrong. The, what I would have done, I would have put. Um, Ichi on archives yeah. and through some money. Yeah. That wasn't enough anyway, was it? Uh, he had three. Uh, he could play. No. He could go to four. No, he wouldn't. Have, but he could threaten a second archer. Yeah, but that second archer doesn't. Yeah, he could, he could say that that's another archer, but that that's the only thing. And he, I think he can go through two archers right now with the same hack. No. Yeah, he needs ten. He needs 18 to go through, no, not 18, he needs 17 to go through two archers. Oh, he has 17. Why is he drawing cards? <laughs> no, why he's not finishing the game, though. Why he's not finishing the game, He doesn't know what we know, but he has to expect some agenda there, so. There we go. Yep. Let's finish this. Yeah. All's well that ends well. It's GG. Job Job doesn't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like how he has no further reactions. <laughs> He's like, screw this. Yeah. Yeah, luck was now on his side. But again, props to both players for playing. Uh, not Wayland and yeah. Criminal. Yeah. At least uh, one side is different. Huh? I'm not sure why it was uh, that good uh, from the runner. Um, this uh, he had so good economy with those compromise employees and the pawns of. Yeah, yeah. What? We can just like yeah, no no because uh, yeah yeah okay that's probably going to work. Yeah, ouch. Oh boy, <laughs> oh, so many agenda. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the one brain damage might be worth it. Yeah, and like I said, I've had a game like this. I've had a game in which it was impossible to win. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Erlen is saying that he's playing noise just to prove that uh, noise is broken. Noise is not broken. He's just very good. And now DB0 is launching some daring threats. <laughs> yeah, I can't let that stand. Noise ban. <laughs>
No, no, no. Like, noise does not need to get banned. There, there's a lot of other cards can, that can compensate for what he does. Like I said, I don't, I don't like the milling strategy. It's boring. It's not my style, but it, it's not broken. Okay, and that concludes this uh, match between Job Job and uh, Julian Natzer and another European, if I remember correctly. Uh... With a nickname like Julian Natzer, if he's not European, I'd be shocked. Yeah, so we see another European go into the, into the second uh, elimination round. And um, yeah, it was a pretty good... Uh, uh, no, good games. Both of them good games. Good games. The second game it was a bit unlucky for Job Job. I mean, uh, there was not a lot you can do with a fast advance if you trash all if they trash all your agendas. Very true. But it's an example. Of, it's an example of both an NBN deck that does fast advance, and it's a good deck. Like I said, my NBN deck is very similar, and it works quite well. And where it works, I've had. Uh, I've said this five times until now. I've had this happen to me too. Noise mill decks just ruin you. Yeah. In this case, it, it's it was a bad matchup. it was a pretty good because he was trashing all the. Agendas and nice. He wasn't trusting assets. He wasn't trusting uh, uh, events. Psychographics. Yeah, exactly. All in his hand. Yeah, yeah. It just happens. <laughs>